Hey guys, welcome back to On3. So I was hit up by the really big monkey Dave, <laughs> the big monkey Dave, to do a video, I was tagged essentially, to do a video on luxury items in my pack or my bushcraft gear, my bug out bag or, or my adventure pack, whatever you want to call it. So uh, I'm going to show you three, my three luxury items that I keep in my bag. Number one is a dry bag with some uh, spare clothes in it. So this time of year, in summertime, I'm going to be soaking wet no matter what. It might be from sweat, it might be from rain. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to be wet at the end of the day. And the nicest thing ever, when you have to, at the end of the day, when you climb into your hammock, it, before you climb into your hammock, is to put on some really dry, warm clothes. Um, the temperatures at night around here where I live get sometimes in the 60s in the summertime which is not like freezing cold, but it's, you know, gets enough to give you a little bit of a chill, especially if you've got some, some wet clothes on. It's definitely enough to give you a chill if you've got some wet clothes on. Even the seventies, you get a little bit chilly at night if, um, if you're, if you're soaked. So, so I've got enough clothing in here to cover my, my entire body essentially minus my hands. I don't really need gloves or anything like that. So, but I've got a wool cap. If I wanted to put this on at night, uh, if it was a little bit chilly, keep me nice and snug. I've got wool socks. And I've got wool long johns, uh, tops and bottoms. And these are 100% merino wool, and they're very soft. It's super nice. Uh, this is definitely a luxury item. These are very expensive. These were a gift to me. Uh, it's very difficult for me to spend that kind of money. I'm pretty frugal, or, or you know, some might say cheap, but I prefer the word frugal. So these are really nice and definitely a luxury item. So nice, dry, warm clothes at the end of the day. Um, next item on my list are some wet wipes. Now I'm personally a Huggies man. Um, you might be a Pampers guy or gal, uh, or maybe you're like a real hippie and you're into like the seventh generation organic stuff. So I, you know, I'm not judging you, whatever, you know, you do what you do, but, but these are fantastic. If you've gone without bathing for a day or two, a wet wipe is uh, is just a miracle worker. You feel so much better after wiping your face down, even if it's just your face and your hands. You know, wiping your face down with one of these wet wipes, uh, I just, it feels fantastic. It takes about three, maybe four, and you can wipe down your entire body. Um, and uh, these, these just are are awesome. Next on my list, probably the ho highest point of my list is Twizzlers. I like to keep Twizzlers, Twizzlers in my pack because, because I like them, all right? They're nice and chewy, a little bit sweet. If you've been hiking all day, working all day, doing whatever, a little bit of something to chew on, a little bit sweet can really give you a nice boost. And I just like them. So don't judge me. I like Twizzlers. You put whatever you want in your bag, I'll put Twizzlers in mine, all right? We're good. But anywho... So those, <laughs> Maggie's barking at somebody. Time out. Maggie. Maggie likes Twizzlers too, but she can't have them. So those are my three luxury items that I keep in my pack pretty much all the time. Sometimes it varies. It varies depending on the time of year and kind of stuff, but, but I do like my Twizzlers. I do like my wet wipes, and I do like to have some nice, dry, warm clothes to put on in the evening if I'm going to be be uh, lounging around camp and setting up in my hammock. So those are my three luxury items. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one. So Dave, I really appreciate you tagging me on this video. I enjoyed making it and enjoyed uh, thinking through what my, my actual luxury items would be. Um, I'm required by YouTube law to tag three more individuals and keep this thing running. So my first one, the uh, first tag is going to be Alan K from Alan K Survival. Next tag is going to be Brian from Survival on Purpose. And then my third and final tag is going to be Dan from Coal Cracker Bushcraft. So if you guys don't put up a video within the next week, I will hunt you down. Thanks.